Hi and welcome to another episode. Um, initially I started filming what I thought would be a daily vlog, but days has passed and the following material is over the past few days. Um, behind me here is the square in Piacenza, which we are uh, visiting. So I'll uh, include a few clips from this city later on in the video. Today we have a digger here uh, doing some work at the property. He's gonna do dig this trench for the water. It needs to be a bit deeper. We are also gonna open up here for the water as well as trying to locate our uh, electricity cable. Uh, along with that, we are also doing some work in here. Today we have an excavator here to do some work and we have started with the uh, extraction of our electricity cable to see where it leads if it exits over here or over there. So we have found the uh, electricity cable. It runs, what we can see over here, really deep though. Uh, in here we are, we have pulled wires in this wall, hence the tiny holes. Um, we are preparing for electricity and today our stonemason is working here on fixing these bits and on in a few days we are going to start with the floor. We had the flooring guy here yesterday. Uh, he has time, so he's going to come and do it. Um, yeah, get back to the digging. So I'm uh, trying to film as much as possible today, but all we do is run around making space for the digger to be able to dig. Uh, so far we've done this, and now we're going to do this piece here and continue on the trench for the water and electricity. So we are removing the uh, gates. Um, we are just going to place them there temporarily. We are going to dispose of them, but we have to call our metal guy to come over and pick them up. Uh, he does that for free because he gets paid for the uh, he gets paid in uh, for each kilo of uh, steel and iron and metals he brings over to the recycling center. He gets paid for it, so he does that for free for us, which is uh, great. It's a win-win situation.
So Anna is priming the kitchen. The primer for the paint to stick and then uh, hopefully later today we'll do the, or we, she will do the first layer of paint. And the and the uh, stone mason is plastering the walls. Okay, so finally, this one arrived. It's gonna go here. Uh, so within the next few days, hopefully, I can start working on the bathroom again. But at the moment, we are a bit preoccupied with. Um, plumbing and training uh, all of this so don't really know when I will have the time for the bathroom but hopefully within the next few days uh, whenever this is finished the chaos on the battlefield which now has turned into a trench war so how exciting, we are uh, painting! Uh, yeah, we, we are going to start in this corner and then work our way around this way. All the way around. Okay, so let's go! So the uh, first layer is on. Uh, paint uh, is decent on this wall. Not so decent on this wall. It's just the first layer. Ceiling is horrible because we are running out of paint, which is weird. Okay, so um, what I'm doing is I'm working on mounting the uh, water tank for the toilet uh, which is going to be my next little project and then after that we can start closing this wall insulate and continue uh, building the bathroom and at the same time Anna and our stonemason is pouring uh, sand into the uh, uh, trench and the dogs are in our way okay let's get back to the water tank Okay, so I've installed the uh, water tank for the toilet. Uh, usually when you do this kind of installation, you don't really need these. Uh, you don't need these. You just need to attach it like I did, like that, like so. Uh, but I've been using these before and I prefer to do it a bit extra because these tend to move slightly and cause a bit of a noise when you actually use them, when you sit down on the actual toilet. So I prefer to be extra cautious when I mount it and attach it even more than it needs. Uh, 
So next is the installation for the uh, plumber to do and I am going to insulate and cover this. So Anna just told me we have a um, floor mounted toilet not a wall mounted which basically means I didn't have to do the extra reinforcement uh, which is great. Um, anyway uh, I um, it doesn't matter. Um, it's still useful to have the uh, this um, back piece because I'm going to insulate anyway, and it makes it easier to insulate. So, and I'm sure it doesn't hurt to have it extra fixed into the wall anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, now I just need to wait for the plumber. Morning and welcome back. Uh, very misty morning. Um, today we are going to do the uh, Nikia, which is the small box for the electricity as well as the water. Uh, the plumber is not here today due to the weather, so we're not going to pull the pipes, but we are uh, going to do the flooring in the kitchen. So we have a flooring guy here today behind me somewhere and he's gonna do the uh, kitchen but before that me and Anna are gonna leave to do some errands okay let's go so here's the Nikia uh, the boxes for the electricity and water which we are gonna make and these are placed right by the entrance which we are gonna change we're gonna build a wall here, gate here, etc. So. A few moments later. So we are running errands and are just back for a quick peek. And this is the progress so far. Let's go, Let's go check out the um, flooring in the kitchen. And this is the process so far. So we are at our local place to look for a metal bar similar to this that's gonna go above our front entrance. Um, we wanted this one, but it's unfortunately a bit too big. That's what she said! <laughs> so uh, we'll see what we get. So I think we are gonna go for the green one because it's uh, very similar to the actual uh, house, the bars that we have at the moment. Okay, so we are going to go for the green one, but we are going to pick it up uh, tomorrow because we have dogs in the car and we have other things to do. Uh, this place is uh, such a treasure trove of stuff. Amazing. And this is uh, just one of the warehouses. It has other ones. Uh, old doors, railing, gates, gates. Uh, gates. <laughs> A lot of cool things. So we are back. Uh, it's um, afternoon, and this is uh, what we have. Kind of looks like a weird barbecue. Uh, nearly finished, and then we just need to place this little box over here, uh, and that's it. And then we have the flooring in the kitchen. Um, that is almost done. He has some pieces left, which he needs to cut. But apart from that, it looks um, great. It's a uh, new morning, and today 
I'm going to cut a few of these. It's going to go here so that I can finish the floor or at least help the tiler to fix the floor. So I'm uh, working on cutting the marble. So we are out looking at and I think we are going to go for this one which is an older looking even though it's new because usually um, they use these ones uh, which is for us too modern um, since it's an old house we want a bit of miscoloration and I think we are gonna get the effects we want with this one. I can um, insert a picture of the idea we have which I think we will be able to fulfill with these ones. So we are out doing errands and I drove past this house and I thought I would uh, show it to you guys. Amazing. painted details okay so we are gonna continue just to quickly stop by and this one is basically done for now um, we will continue uh, later with this build uh, when we are doing the wall but for now it's uh, good enough and the progress with the floor in the kitchen are um, slowly getting better. Uh, slightly noisy today. What we're doing is making a few holes for the water pipes that we are pulling in today. A few moments later. So we are uh, back at the house. We now have the uh, tubes for the water as well as the electricity done. Um, we have two tubes, one going, that's the electricity that goes there and then it's going to go inside the villa. And this is the incoming water that's going to go to the villa and to the stables. Um, Apart from that, we have the uh, kitchen floor ready. It's finished. Uh, it's a bit of a semi-disaster because that's grey. Uh, we are going to change it to beige as well as it's a bit thick. So we are going to have to scrape them all or scrape the visible ones and make them a bit brighter uh, in the beige but that's not going to happen now uh, we are going to do that later uh, later on when we have the kitchen installed etc as for now it's uh, good we'll change that later we also have the incoming water here that's going to connect to a box that we're going to put there and that's basically gonna be it for this episode uh here's anna 
Uh, we are gonna end it here. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao.